A big change tonight from the EPA. The agency is setting the first ever national standard for so-called forever chemicals in our drinking water. The new regulations set strict limits on two common types of forever chemicals, PFO and PFOS. They're now limited to four parts per trillion in our drinking water. That's much tighter than the rules introduced by Michigan's Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy in 2020. Those rules allowed for eight parts of trillion of PFOA and 16 parts for the PFOS. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast taking us inside a lab here in Metro Detroit and showing us how they test. Although these new federal limits are more strict than Michigan's limits, the state of Michigan is ahead of many other states in PFAS testing. And today we're taking you inside this dedicated PFAS lab in Livonia to show you how it's done. So it's not PFAS, it's PFAS. PFAS, yeah. Despite common confusion, the pronunciation is by far the easiest thing we learned today inside Paragon Laboratories of Livonia. So these are actual drinking water samples? These are actual drinking water samples. Where senior chemist and head of PFAS testing, Jalpa Patel, showed us how it's done. This is the evaporation system. We dry out the entire methanol content, so everything that's left in the tube is just a PFAS compound. It's a complex and expensive multi-step process that takes two days to complete detecting even the smallest trace of PFAS, which today the federal government says can be no more than four parts per trillion in drinking water. So that means there are, so four parts per trillion means basically like four little droplets in, in 50, 50 gallons. Yes, 50,000 50, gallons. gallons. Okay, so that's a very minuscule amount. Yes. Paragon says they were the first lab in Michigan to test for PFAS starting in 2018. They test everything from wastewater to drinking water for companies, municipalities, and water treatment plants. I'm grateful that the state of Michigan was a, ahead of the curve as it comes to PFAS analysis. VP of Customer Experience Rich McKenzie says while methods of testing are still evolving, they built this lab nearly six years ago, separating it from all other testing due to its sensitivity and special equipment. Um, the results and the data that we put out, it has to be accurate. It's got to be right so that the EPA knows where we're at at any given time. The Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy said they're still evaluating the new guidelines to integrate them in current testing, while the federal government is supplying nearly $20 million to make it happen. The action being taken today is because we have a good understanding of the health impacts that we can prevent and on the levels that uh, we, we need to keep out of our drinking water. Although these new limits were announced today, states have about three years to implement these new changes. In Livonia, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News. Thank you, Brett.